It's time for your morning rush. All the top stories you need to know before you start your Monday. First, President Trump has extended national social distancing guidelines through April 30th. He says the highest number of deaths is likely to occur in about two weeks around Easter. But he hopes that the country could be on the road to recovery by June 1st. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, says based on models, 100,000 to 200,000 Americans could possibly die from the new coronavirus. Well, there are now an additional 113 cases of COVID-19 across South Carolina, bringing the total number of cases to 774 in 40 counties. Richland County had reported the biggest number of new cases with 17. The agency also announced one more death from the virus, bringing the total to 16 deaths statewide. DHEC says the most recent patient was a senior in Horry County with underlying health conditions. The stay at home order for the city of Columbia is officially in effect. The order started yesterday and it applies to everyone that lives or operates a business within the Columbia city limits. There are some exceptions for those who need or work in essential services like health care, grocery stores or the post office. To check out a full list of those essential services, just head to WLTX.com. Well, students and parents for Richland School District 1, listen up because starting today, Richland 1 will be implementing a new meal distribution process. Families will now be able to pick up a full week's worth of meals on Mondays instead of having to pick up meals every day. Parents will be able to drive to any of these locations you see right here during their designated hours and staff members will bring the meals to their cars. Pickup hours will be from 9 in the morning until 1 o'clock in the afternoon at these locations and don't forget the children have to be with you in order to receive a meal. And on a lighter note, today is National Doctors Day. On March 30th every year, National Doctors Day honors physicians all over the country for their service to their communities. And now more than ever, we want to show our appreciation for them and everyone in the healthcare field. So if you get the chance today, reach out to a doctor or a nurse and say thank you for all that they're doing to keep their patients healthy and ultimately what they're doing to save lives. Thank you.